Hey everyone, welcome to this Tips by Chris video. In this page or in this video, we're going to go ahead and show you how to change the header. Uh, that's usually typically default on the the theme that's usually on the 2010 or 2011 WordPress uh, installation. This is the stock header that comes up. Every time you refresh, most of the time I believe it goes through by default a random selection of pictures. And what I'm doing is just refreshing the top and showing you the different pictures that come up. Now, for some people they may not care, but for most of us, uh, we do. We don't like it there. So what I'm doing is I'm just doing a really quick video on how to change that header um, picture or even remove it completely. So what you want to do is you can start by logging into your back panel. And I've already done that here. So I'm going to sh go straight to the gray bar that shows across the top on the newer WordPress installs. Uh, once you're logged in, you'll see this. And then what I'm going to do is, even from the dashboard or from here, you can go to that header section by selecting the dashboard and then appearance, and then you're going to go to header. And it'll take you straight there. Now, if you are on the home page of your website, straight from here and you've already logged in, you can just go from challenge then to header them. So once you hit the dashboard though, it doesn't have as many selections, but you'll end up in the same place. So um, what I've done is I've already did a sample of putting an image up. And so what I can do is I can actually even show you another image. Let's go ahead and choose an image. Um, and we're going to choose an image that I have on my desktop I happen to have actually a picture of a Shih Tzu dog on my desktop so we'll upload that and what you'll see is you have the ability to crop the picture right on the screen itself um, by using these guides that are here now the thing is the longer or the higher or um, taller you make the image the more header space it will take so just be aware of that, that you don't want to make it too tall. In fact, the thinner, the better. So if you already have a long picture, even that's even better to use. Um, so you can do that. We'll hit Crop and Publish, and immediately the picture gets published here. And if we hit our Challenge page to see what it looks like, now we have this header sitting here. Now the other thing we can do is we can already have longer pictures already ready to go. So I'm going to show you how that works by adding a long picture already on that I have uh, as a panoramic which I've created in the past so I'm gonna go ahead and select that here and upload it and this is already a very long picture because it was created as a panoramic okay so now that we have our panoramic picture already added in we can actually make it really long and stretch it across here. Crop and publish. And we can see what it looks like by visiting our site. And there you have it. Our long panoramic picture going across the top there. So those are the different ways that you can add the pictures on there. You can either that or some people just like to even choose the default that's um, part of the header package that comes standard by choosing one of these and you can select it and it'll stay static or you can have it choose random by doing this and it'll randomly go through all the different ones here um, for me I think I'll just stick with the basic we'll just use this one and we will then save changes and that will be my header from now unless I think of something better but this is of course just our test site thanks for visiting if you like this video please click on the like button below uh, or visit the website at tipsbychris.com if you have any questions on WordPress and something that you'd like to have done uh, or shown let me know uh, send me an email at chris at tipsbychris.com add a comment or even uh, ask a comment on this on the YouTube section as well thanks for visiting have a great day